Yo, and welcome back to Dan Escapes. Hope you're all doing very well. Today, well, today, tomorrow, I'm going to be doing Ride London, which is a 100 mile ride starting in the centre of London, going out to Essex and further like northeast, and then heading back down and finishing on Tower Bridge in London. And hopefully, we should have completed 100 miles. Um, this is my jersey for tomorrow, my race number. So, I'm just going to go through quickly how I've set my bike up because it's a bit of a weird one. The weather keeps changing on and off. At the moment, it's looking like it's gonna be very wet in the morning. Some weather apps are saying it's gonna rain throughout the day, like scattered rain. Um, so it looks like it's mainly gonna be in the morning. Some are saying it's gonna be completely dry. So now I'm gonna go through that and what kind of nutrition I'm gonna bring with me. I'm probably gonna be over-prepared. So I'm probably hyping it up in my head because I've done long mileage before and you know, haven't needed too many snacks, um, but that is taking it chilled. And what I like about Ride London is it's completely closed off roads, so you don't have to stop for any track it. That's the nice thing about it and probably what you're paying the most for, because you know, when are you gonna get the opportunity to ride 100 miles with closed roads? So this is my little setup here. I'm riding the Trek Imonda ALR tomorrow. So I did a build video of that, and also I took this on a Rafa's Day in Hell which was a mixture of off-road and on-road riding. So it handled really well. I haven't changed the tires, so hopefully they're gonna hold out. They are a bit worn, so I've done quite a few kilometers on them. I was gonna put P0 race tires on here, but I'm glad I stuck, because these are the all-weather ones. So with the wet roads, hopefully this should give a good amount of grip. Um, I will lower the pressure in them. I'm running them quite high at the moment, so I will drop probably like 10 PSI just to make it a bit more softer and a bit more grip. Up on the back, this is an arse saver from Trek. I'm still debating, so you'll find out in the morning whether I'm gonna put full mud guards on from SKS, so they'll cover here and on the front. In my bag, I'm running all my spare kit and tool kit, so I've got a multi-tool, I've got spare in the tube, I've got plugs, because I'm running tubeless, um, pump, and also some air canisters. What else have I got in there? And also a quick link for the chain, so just in case the chain snaps and breaks. As for front, I've got a restrap top tube bag. This is like a half frame one. And in there, I'm gonna keep most of my nutrition, so like gels, bars, so it's easy to access. As for nutrition, I've got all these goodies. So I'm gonna talk through them one by one. And the first one's the bars. So I'm gonna keep four with me, just in case. I probably won't even go through all of them. These are the rice bars from Sturka. They're a dark chocolate chip and they're vegan, which is good. It's got 50 grams of carbohydrates, which is needed, but they just taste really good. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna be up for it towards the end because usually by the end, I'm like, oh, I don't want any more sweet things. Um, so probably might have them a bit earlier on just to fill me up. I'm also be, gonna be running these gels from Sturka as well. These are the 50 gram carbohydrates. It's got a citrusy one and the mixed berry. I've been taking these on my run to get used to them just to make sure they don't, you know, go through me really quickly. And, you know, they've been handling up pretty well, especially as I've got my triathlon coming up. I want to make sure these work really well with that. This is something I've always ran is using a carb mix in my drink. These are both from Sturker again. So, you know, I found that they work really well with me. Um, haven't had any issues with them, so that's why I keep going back to these. And they've got 60 grams of carbohydrates in them. I've also got a 90 gram one. I don't think I'll use that for this race. Uh, might save that for the triathlon. But yeah, I'm gonna put these in my bottles. I'm debating whether to put one and then save another one for halfway around. So put this in one bottle and then put an electrolyte tablet in the other bottle so I can kind of mix between the two. The problem with these, and which I'm not really liking about them, is pretty much just drinking sugar water. It's really sweet and it hasn't got a flavor to it. So that's my only criticism of these. I know OTE do one and that's got like a blueberry flavor, but I haven't tried it before. So I don't want to risk it on this ride and be like, actually this has upset my stomach. So I'd rather go with something I know. My only concern is what to wear. I'm either going to wear a full sleeve waterproof jacket and then 
or I've got a gilet waterproof jacket so it's got no sleeves. You'll find out in the morning. And whether I should put full length mud guards on this bike. I don't know. What do you think? Um, but yeah, you'll find out tomorrow if I've made the right decision or not. It is raining. I've put, decided to put full mud guards on so they're the SKS race blade ones. And I'm decided to wear overshoes but with no leggings. So hopefully I'll be protected from the wet because it was raining pretty hard. I didn't sleep very well last night. So, you know, I could hear the rain coming down. So there's gonna be some big puddles today. And I just thought I'd rather be dry. And instead of the gilet, I've gone with the long sleeve. So it's a bit better. But yeah, this is, uh, this is gonna be a fun day. Woo. I think I'm going to be late for my start, I was just like, you know what, I can't be bothered. Anyway, i got to wait for Lance, who's going to be starting in a later wave. So, but my check-in time is between 5 and 5.45. Now it's 5.25, so I don't know if I'll make my car off. If not, I'll go to one of the other ones and come in a bit later. But yeah, great day for it. Woo! What's up, man? You good? There's Lance with his Madon and Mudgod. Well then you on. Maybe the others were a bit more confirmed. I don't need faster bikes, we need stronger legs. Thank you, uh... <laughs> well, well, well. Alright, so I'm back from Live London. Did the 100 miles. I think it ended up being like 103 or 105. The bike handled well. No punctures. I saw a lot of punctures on the side of the roads. Um, these P0 uh, Four Seasons, just other ones. And also with Super Sealant, but I can't see any spray up the side so i don't know if it if it, there was a little puncture it sealed really quickly but yeah great also loved having the mud guards just not getting any splash on me i did wear overshoes as well which you know was handy my feet are dry so apart from sweat uh, i did have the rain jacket it was a bit bulky i kind of wish i just wore the gilet 
waterproof um, or ideally have a thinner jacket because it felt quite bulky in the back of my pocket which is there, there so yeah it felt quite cumbersome there but it's great having the bag on top just because that way I could easily get to my bars and gels I think we stopped once around 38 miles just for like a little pee stop I think we were both ready to go and then take off our jackets because it stopped raining and it was getting pretty warm. And then we stopped at the halfway mark, so they had a halfway stop there. Didn't really eat much. I think I got like a sorin, small sorin loaf and a banana and just filled up my bottles of water. Um, and then added a carb mix to one of those and had a plain water. Ideally, I wish I had an electrolyte because towards the end, there were some climbs where I felt like my thigh was uh, kind of cramping up a little bit but no it was uh, really good I uh, enjoyed it and it's nice just having open roads and being able to just ride constantly so I think from the halfway mark to the end we just did not stop one thing that really annoyed me well not annoyed me but really bugged me was my rear end um, it was very painful even from the start and you know, 100 miles with a painful rear end. I think that was the only thing that was like really uncomfortable. And maybe I might try some chamois cream. And I wish I had some. I was like hoping at the halfway point that they had some chamois cream and I could just apply it and just to see if that made a difference. But I was trying to stand up as much or a lot towards the end. I was just like, oh, I don't want to sit down. I think that was what hindered me. And also whenever there was like a slight incline, that kind of flagged a little bit and slowed down, you know. Climbing still not my strong suit it's a cool experience i recommend you know if you're into cycling and if you've never done it before go check it out even if it's like 31 so towards the end we start catching up with people who are doing the 30 and probably the 60 as well so yeah that's a good thing if you wanted to you could do the 100 60 or 30 so you know there's a route for everyone so it's good to just test yourself even if you just want to do the 60 and the great thing with this is there's not much climbing i think it's a cool route and it comes back and finishes on tower bridge and there's loads of people lined up and it's quite fun so yeah really good day out so let me know in the comments below what did you think of the ride 100 did you do it yourself um how did you find it or did you do the 60 or 30 it'd be great to hear from you i know it was very wet at the beginning and then the sun came out for a little bit then got caught out in the rain again and then sun so yeah it was a good mix of the day but yeah that's it for today's episode if you enjoyed it please do give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel as it helps a lot and i appreciate it so so much but yeah that's it from me and the amanda this is this bike's been very good to me you know it's very good and i really enjoy it but yeah see you in the next one. Oh yeah here's my medal it's cool you know but yeah also check out my jacket it's been sitting in my pocket <laughs> still a bit wet and damp they are telling me about the sleeves they just picked up so much moisture yeah needs a wash